All right, so today we're gonna to talk about centrifuge operations. This is a centrifuge, and this is where your test tubes will be for you to do the centrifuge. First things first, you wanna make sure that your equipment is in proper working um, order. So you're gonna inspect everything. Make sure that it's clean, make sure that it's working, check your wires, make sure that it's not frayed. At this point, when everything checks out, you're gonna plug in your centrifuge. The green light will go on. That is the button saying that the top is popped. So our student's going to open it up. This is what the inside of a centrifuge looks like. Can you point to each one of our? These are, the, those holes are where the test tubes are going to go in. You need to make sure when you grab the test tubes that they are balanced. Can, can you turn them a little bit so that we can see the, the levels? Okay. They both have an equal amount of volume in there. Now when you place them inside of the centrifuge, you are going to make sure that they are on opposite ends to make sure that they are balanced. If at any point in time um, you do put, put them beside each other or unbalanced, at that point, here's an example of it, at that point when you turned on the centrifuge, it would begin to vibrate, it'll shake, um, it could cause the uh, test tubes to either break or release a form of aerosol from, from the tube itself, which would make the testing um, inconclusive. You would, have to, you would have to draw the blood again and do the test again. Now we are going to engage the top of the centrifuge. And our student is going to press the on button to centrifuge the blood. This right now is spinning at 120 RPMs, um, which stands for rotations per minute. Um, normally, this centrifuge would go for anywhere from five to 10 minutes, depending on what you are testing for. But for the sake of this video, we are going to just let it run for about 30 seconds, and then we will stop on the centrifuge operation. Okay, we're going to stop it. You have to wait for it to come to a complete stop for safety reasons. And it is slowing down. Okay, that beep means that it is done and that it is safe to open up the top. You open the top, you take out your test tubes, and normally um, the, this would be separated. The bottom of the tube, point to the bottom, the, the bottom of the tube would have the red blood cells. The top of the tube, because it is a lavender top, would have plasma. And in between would be what's called the buffy coat, which would be less than 1% of the total makeup. This right here concludes the operations of a centrifuge.